so as you can tell these are my trades so at the top you have what I have currently 72.91 and the balance is 278.92 so and these are all the trades that I'm in currently so we're going to the chart real quick and we're going to Euro USD to kind of check things out, see what's going on. Now I'm just making sure, and from what I can tell, it's Should about to keep up. dropping. I've already answered in multiple positions on Euro USD. This is something you can take wherever you go. Mm -hmm. oh, you have your phone or your laptop. Yeah, pretty much I'm just doing it all from my phone. And I'm mainly doing it from my phone. I'm about to enter in on another position now. So I'm, I'm up to 80 the bucks. Account to buy 80 bucks. I'm doing it from my phone because and the focus I on a limited amount of pivots just for the pure fact that to the balance. yeah I'm in the country my internet is limited at this point I, <laughs> all I can really do it's easier for me to just stick with a few things at once because I sold versus I'm just waiting for it to pass this line 10 so different pass these lines pairs at the same time I'm in profit. but yeah it just should it keep dropping past these right I'm just going to leave it alone. And then all in honesty, with me being on vacation, I recommend training. all I've really been doing, I haven't really been micromanaging my trades like other jump people into do. And Most people, they'll try to convince you really that you have to baby your trade the entire time. You have to constantly be on your phone. You have but to constantly be on your laptop to make sure to, to check on your trades. But... That's what it can be you do. You don't. You really don't have to baby your trade at all. If you know what you're looking for, you can get the money. And what's happening? It's starting to. And now, as I can tell, as you keep tell, dropping, there it is, passing the line. As you can if tell, it was a buy and it rose, we could make some money. But in this case, we're selling. We are selling this stuff, and we are about to make more money. 2020 with the time it's all about growth and with this this pair your old JPY I'm about to enter because I see a reason to jump in and sell Since it it's dropping I make some extra change if it were to rise I would buy and I'm let's see that's simple if you know what you're doing I've been in this a while. So I know what to look for. Right now it's it's breaking as we speak. It's selling, growing. selling, and now I'm up 104 where I was at 80. I don't Not bad for the beginning of the year. Computer account growth is pretty fast. Doing about the same thing, it just becomes easier. And I'm a key, especially if you're looking at the higher time frames. Cause I believe it's gonna go for a while. So let's see what this does over time. On vacation. And at the same time. Oh, yep. It's it's still dropping. It's dropping a bit harder. Well, states like Alabama. And pretty probably soon I'll probably the take connection, so. while that drops for a bit after it hits to a point it can make trading that I want I'll take way, some home but to make it all risk free after a little experience you could just learn to just leave it alone not yet and then let the account grow but further it's doing drops because it's what I know sell. it's going to do this is not a guessing game. Up, oh, I'm up one. Well, it was one twenty five, but it fluctuates all the time like yeah, that. The account. But yeah, I've already done the analysis. At this point, I will. I know the direction. I know 
what it's doing. At least take based a on the training that I took. I see what's happening. This isn't something that just anyone can jump into. You can't just jump into Forex and just instantly expect to make money. I mean, there's plenty to learn it. I had to take on training myself. Now I wouldn't expect anyone to just instantly make money. But yeah, I'm taking a little bit now. Now that I've verified the trend on EuroJP. Dinner times, I go to certain places like Right now, I'm in Alabama. You have no service whatsoever. No internet connection. And it interrupts your trading, especially when you can barely can enter in a trade, barely exit a trade, whatever. But at the same time, that's where limiting the trade you take actually helps. Like, well, I should say limit the pair the amount of pairs that you trade. I'm, I've just been strictly sticking with my phone. I'm not, I can't say I've used my laptop that much, as much as I thought I would, especially with the limitations. It's just much easier to stick with the phone and then just manage what I'm doing. And then just pretty much just watch it grow over time. But overall, don't just don't overcomplicate it. Stick to one thing and just let the account do its thing. But overall, you still have to know what you're doing. You still have to learn the markets. You can't just jump in and automatically expect to make money out of this. You have to practice, practice, practice. If you th think that you have to be glued to your chart 24-7 to make this work, then that's just, that's due to your own lack of knowledge. That's your own fault. Well, you have to be open-minded enough to learn. It's simple as that. If you're not willing to learn, you'll be limited to one, probably indicators that barely work. You'll be limited to guessing games, assuming it's going to go one direction and probably lose money. If you want to be able to trade without limiting yourself so much, then step one is to be open-minded enough to learn about it.